Yay. How, how about those Star Wars kitty rebel thingamajiggies? Oh, shut up. These days. No, no. We, we, I'm recording. <laughs> we have to talk about it now. We physically have to talk well, about the talk worst about abomination ever created. All right, Nick, you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. No, that's there. your mother. All right, you, you, you more sur- thoroughly, thoroughly saw the the first episode. You give us our, your thoughts really quick, since we're fucking doing this apparently. Uh, hmm. What's there to say? It's a show called Rebels. Uh... Some stuff happens. They fight the Empire, and it's uh, huh? Cowboy so, like... Jedi. Fucking slingshot. bullshit. Cowboy oh, Jedi God. impossible God. lightsabers that shouldn't physically fucking can I, work. Can I ask what the hell is up with Captain Mutton Chops? Which, I, since I, when that guy when, looked like a. I'm sorry, but that fucking <laughs> helmet made him look like a fucking helmet. <laughs> what the fuck was that shit? I mean. Obviously, the they're trying to. Die. Obviously, Much they're trying die. to draw parallels between the Galactic Empire and the Roman Empire. GG. But okay, even though he they has... already drew parallels to the Nazis, the Japanese. Yeah. Well, other one thing stuff, I like. Exactly. One I thing like I like is that the electric staffs they have that were made for the Magna Guards. They call them what was it? Honor things or whatever. They were like, uh... Yeah, they were like a honor staff thing for like. Okay. The race of the one guy. Yeah, that's such bullshit. And he's like, oh, yeah, I got this one because I killed them all. Does anyone want to tell Except me why you. the fucking Twi'lek bitch looks so fucking derpy? What's every... wrong with their animation? It got worse. Because this isn't Clone Wars. We ain't advancing, we're regressing. Well, yeah, you know what, Disney? I, I think Disney sucked away a little more of their funding and they're like, holy fuck, what are we supposed to do? I know. Let's take a cool away a couple more polygons. Yeah. Be- Shit, we're out of money. Why the fuck not, right? We're out of money. Start cutting Look, it for I'm the show. I'm just waiting for the episode. Look, they need to come up with an episode where all these characters just die instantaneously in a blast of fiery, gory they... blitz. In a Death right. Star- the Death Star fires on their ship. They all die. We get rid of these characters. They get some goddamn normal Star Wars characters that don't look so fucking cartoonishly kid-friendly. I am going to puke right. if I have to watch another we episode because of you We assholes. got dumb Mandalorian cunt. We got dumb Twi'lek cunt. We got dumb little <laughs> shit who doesn't know what the fuck to do. He's got a light slingshot. We got the fucking cowboy rogue Jedi because no one's ever done that before. Uh, and his you, crazy weird alien look. A, yeah, what, whatever the fuck that thing is. I don't even care what that thing gorilla. is. It's a gorilla. Fuck you. Okay, okay. He he's a cowboy Jedi. Yeah, oh, he's a mercenary. He's a cowboy. Yeah, he's a fucking mercenary. I don't get it. I'm not physically grasping the situation. No, it's the same oh, thing. It's Jedi, Jedi is. Jedi. It's never been done before. It's like Jedi Order's gone. Therefore, I have to act like the biggest douchebag and like basically I have to act like Han Solo. Ooh, I bet, cool. I oh, bet God. he always wanted to, but now since the Jedi Order's gone, he can now without fear of uh, any kind of... Repercussions? Uh, but anyway... Well, uh, yeah. hang, hang on. Show... This, is probably... hey guys, fuck. this is probably what's going on through his head. Ah, oh, fuck, the Jedi... Uh, Jedi are all dead. I'm probably one of the last motherfuckers with the Force alive. The Sith Empire is back. You know what I'm gonna do? Fucking night out of the town, and where's my lucky hat? You know, so I would blasting. say, I would say, go fuck yourself in regards to the fact that we know Luminar Unduli is supposed to be alive, but I've already known what that's going to be a thing. But it, you know, I, I, I just want to bring up the fact she that died. I actually, I, I actually pay attention died, to though. the fucking canon. I, I just want to bring up, I actually care about the canon, and uh, even Disney's bullshit canon, I know a little bit more than Disney does apparently, because she was on Kashyyyk, and the only person that escaped Kashyyyk was Yona. Hey, hey guys. And, hey. And, and Quinlan Voss. All right, Quinlan Voss, but hey, still, I'm about... Luminara was reported dead. Carl, I'm about to blow your fucking mind. You know why? Because Ahsoka oh. and her boyfriend are going to appear in the show Shut too. Because they're poster I children. Will. Don't care. <laughs> God damn it! Please tell me it's not Lux. Please tell me it's, it's Lux. not Lux. Please tell me it's not Lux. Lux and Ahsoka yeah, are going to appear. 
Like they're post children. Come on, children. Bane. Bane. Yeah, I know you watch the. I know you watch Clone Wars. But Bane, how many potential? How many potential boyfriends did they give that bitch? I didn't even watch the show. And well, I know they gave they her like had, Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. They had Rex. That's one. They I had uh, Cody. They could have gone somewhere with that. I they, know. Uh, uh, I'm talking about the two clones, by the way. And they had Anakin. They kind of hinted oh towards that sort of. Oh my god! And the show. don't forget, it was, it was incredibly creepy. By the way, don't forget R two D two. Had Lux. That's don't forget R two D two, and then no. they also hinted towards Grievous. Let's not forget that one. Lux is the, the only again. I haven't watched the Clone Wars, so but I know enough to know Lux is the only viable motherfucker because oh, the other yeah. two are, are supposed to be genetically a older. Episode, but I know enough. I I know enough. <laughs> But, but, I, yourself, buddy. No offense. <laughs> this is the thing no about this is Star Wars. I don't watch anything I don't want to watch. I just look up at the synopsis and whatnot online. And okay. Let me tell you, Clone You're Wars not, sounds even more retarded. I've retarding. watched the entire. I've had the unlucky pleasure of fucking back in the day, just going oh, down my mind and stones yeah, watching okay. the whole fucking shit. The entire. Okay, okay. Oh, by the way, do not watch the last season of the Clone Wars ever. It is the most. Okay, I've seen enough. We, we know. Yeah. I, I already know. We know. I already know how the new Darth Bane looks like a Fire Nation ripoff. I know. Okay, but yeah, uh, here, here's and they give Yoda neon signs of the impending <sighs> doom. Yeah, that too. But anyway, back to Rebels because we got we gotta bring it back. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's oh, yeah, talk yeah. about how the fucking Inquisitor looks like the retarded love child of the son from the Clone Wars. He can't use the Force, by the way. <laughs> I know, he which is even... He can't even use the Force, and you're calling yourself an Inquisitor? He can't even use the fucking Force. He's, he's Wait, so lazy. That... Actually, he's so I thought lazy. they were joking when I heard about that. Can no, he really, not use the force? he really can't use what the Force. The yeah, he's, he's so lazy. lazy. Who's that? That he has a double bladed lightsaber that he ha has like an auto spin on. He he's too lazy to spin the fucking like, thing on his I'm own. I'm not even going to spin my saber like General Grievous back in the day. And I'm every... just going to hold it up like so, yes. and you're going to watch it spinning like so. It's a helicopter. And you're going to, oh, you're attacking me now. Oh dear. Grievous oh dear. Had an I don't excuse. have the force. Oh, he's a cyborg. It. He had an excuse. This motherfucker's just lazy, and he has rat teeth. And then Darth Maul comes in, bitch slaps him, and be like, Bitch, I'll show you how to twirl a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want that wait, to happen. Do the helicopter, Maul, really do the helicopter. <laughs> wait a minute, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, how, how can this guy not use the force and yet his eyes are yellow? Because he's evil. Your logic. What? Evil logic. Yellow that's, eyes. That's that's logic. Actually, hang on a second, Carl. 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 I actually do have a viable explanation for that. Uh, it could actually be spice. There's only two things in the galaxy that I know of in Star Wars lore that could do that. Well, that's spice it's and fucking. Well, if you look at his oh. eyes, they have that yellow and red blotchiness that we know is supposed to be the dark side. So I highly doubt it, but or, whatever. Or he I, could you know be what? really high on some nice spice. Consistency is just out the fucking window. Oh no, that went out the window when they gave us a light Look, swing let's be shot. Honest here. The the new Death Star is no longer the old Death Star that you know of. It is it has Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> okay, there's one thing Dump I do down like. And don't take it as seriously because you're just gonna get pissed. Just there is, at it. Don't, pissed. Don't, there, there is one thing I like about Episode Three of Rebels, and that's R2 and C3PO. Because they're yeah, working. Wrong with you. Because they're working for random no, no, they assholes. Are they, they were never there. They, they were never there. They were never there. Because they were. No, I would contend that the inserting of C3PO and R2D2 into the prequels was shameless, but this is even more shameless. No, no, no. Here, here, here's my reasoning. Don't need to be here here's my reasoning. All. Because they help. Or they translate for that one guy who's selling disruptors. Even disruptors were illegal. They could have gotten any other astromech droid I know. and protocol droid to do that. I know, but, you know, fan it service. Was <laughs> exactly. Sorry. It was... But, anyway, about the disruptors. I like how they have disruptors, even though the disruptors were outlawed by the Empire for reasons. Well, of course the Empire doesn't follow its own. No, but like, the, if I remember correctly, then doesn't the Empire like put it somewhere, but they, yet somehow they lost all that equipment to a bunch of low lives? 
They are, you, are you a bunch of low lives. She's trying to say that Disney could hang hang on a second. Is Visitor actually trying to say that this could be canon? It's not canon. What are you talking about? Rebels is canon. The, as far as Disney what, is concerned, what? yeah, we don't have to follow no, it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna commit suicide. Fuck that. No, you're not. But you know, whatever. I feel like it. That is such bullshit. I refuse to acknowledge its existence now. Fucking Disney. Uh, we're we're kind of talking um, about it, so its existence is acknowledged. Shit, let's just, you're right. Let's just talk. If we don't talk about it, you're just going to get fucking stress built up into your brain. You'll have I, an like how, I like how we have to also insert a Mandalorian in everything that is Star, Star Wars now. because oh, fuck Mandalorians. So many, so many people are now just jizzing over Mandalorians, and you know what? I used to think they were all right, but all this began with Boba Fett, but I can't even blame Boba Fett, because it all really began with Tales of the Jedi, because that's when they said, hey, these are Mandalorians. And so Bioware said, hey, KOTOR, there was this thing called the Mandalorian Wars, and ever since then, people have been jerking them off, and I'm just getting sicker even... and sicker and sicker yeah, but no... of it. I just love how people forget so easily that most Mandalorians are just fucking ape shit barbarians. I, I like how most people forget that the Mandalorians I, were actually vitiate bitches, and that's really bottom of the barrel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, and then vitiate and, now... and not not to go into short tour, but vitiate to quote Vit Darth vitiate. I just want to be a painter. Or and what is, of God, and so I want this? to blow up the entire galaxy. <laughs> okay, and step right there. This Mandalorian bitch in this show, who I know like had a little thing in the Clone Wars, but but she's only there she obviously to really she she's didn't. there to titillate. She didn't exist. The, she's never existed. Her family never existed. You know None what? Of this never so, existed. I remember None someone. None of the characters did. Someone she's told there me only to titillate the growing male. Uh, Generation as watching this, and it's just shameless because so, look at her. Someone once said to me that yeah. she was a Satine sister. Um, to no, which no, I say Satine's no, sister was no. white. She's kind of tannish. Who the fuck is Satine? I don't, I don't know. It, the the one, the one that died in Clone Wars, Tamal, the Obi Wan's girlfriend. Know. Shut up! I was joking, fucker. Shut the fuck up. There is no such thing as an Obi-Wan's girlfriend. He wouldn't do something like that. According to Clone Wars, he did. Did? Clone Wars is nothing. Then what again, it's not as bad as Rebels. Watch but, you know, <laughs> I knew this was coming for a long time. I don't know why I'm still so angry about it, but I, I am. I just... People want to say you I'm knew crazy. it would be this bad. You knew it would be terrible. That's the worst part. People we all knew it would be terrible. People want to give me shit because I like the prequels. Well, you know what? At least I can say I don't like Rebels and I don't like Clone Wars because I might like shameless, uh, you know, referencing well, the... and whatnot and story, uh, uh, what do you call it? Story bridging with the prequels. But Rebels and Clone Wars is just whoring out to the lowest mm, common Rebels is. <laughs> Like and Clone you know, Wars? I can, really, okay, I, I can, hang, hang on. To I clarify, can forgive, guys, I can forgive guys, Clone guys, Wars fans, guys. but I can't forgive uh, Rebels. Clone Rebels. Wars, I could tolerate. Rebels, I absolutely can't. I really Rebels can't. Rebels is too kid friendly. It's way too blocky on the animation, and and the comparison of the art style, it's not the same. I don't want to hear it. This version is just like. It looks like it should be in a 2D printer. I'm sorry. It, it, if it's going to be this blocky, at least make, make it 2D. It, like the original it, first Clone Wars series, which does. was, by the, the way, more better than any other. 3D, the 3D is 2D. Does not does not look like good. It looks like the very early versions of 3D. You know, I saw like years ago some YouTube fan made uh, CGI Star Wars story and the CGI looks almost exactly the same except maybe a little less clunky what is wrong with you Disney did you suck away all of their funding 
Well, they needed <laughs> to to make up Disney some is like, Oh, <laughs> we're taking that. Hang, hang on, this is this is Disney. Oh, we're taking that money for the fun for that funding. We're taking the money for that storyline funding. Oh, and uh, those writers cut it, cut those off. We need more money in our pockets. Oh, and oh, you wanted money for good CGI quality. Yeah, fuck off. They must we'll take that money. They must have uh, funneled some of that funding into fucking Phineas and Ferb. Oh, they had oh, to. So they had to. Mm-hmm. But one thing Jesus I like. Christ. One thing I like. Oh God! Just is, you wait. Just you wait. They're gonna do a crossover. Just you wait. Phineas and Ferb Star Wars. There he did. On a special. Don't. There he did. No, they, did like a way, they did like a oh, way back one. long ago, but anyway, I like how they build up the Inquisitors. Like no one's ever had cybernetic implants before. <laughs> no one's ever done this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like uh, yeah, General Grievous, like don't you remember me, motherfuckers? If you're too yeah, young, to Grievous is like what the fuck? Any of the movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they, no, they build them up. Is PG-13 too much for your parents to let you watch fucking episode one, which is probably the most baby of all the Star Wars movies, which I can admit to? I mean, come on. Good lord. There's episode not even any more. blood in Star episode Wars one, because everything catarizes the fucking wounds. Episode one is, like, the most baby of all of Star Wars, but you know what? It has a little more dignity yeah. than Rebels, okay? okay? And one of the first lines I hear in fucking episode one of Star Wars Rebels is, Who's gonna stop us? We're the Empire. Five seconds later, two TIE fighters get shot down by a fucking speeder from a little punk ass kid. Like, he's got blue hair, he has a light slingshot, and yeah, he can shoot down two fi TIE fighters. Good job. I know, you know the what? Empire. Humans in Star Wars are not anime characters. They usually have fucking normal colored hair unless they're an alien hybrid. What fucking alien is he? Because he can't be human if he has blue hair. You, you know, yeah, I, honestly, did. I think I it's know. one of those sort. Guys, guys, I think it's one of those uh, sort of poor animation jobs where it's like, oh no, he just has blue hair. It looks like he has blue hair, but it's actually really shiny fucking black hair. Probably oh, shit. Just, it because probably is. Quality funding was also slashed too, so we could. But, have good but they they make the empire to be so incompetent when they really weren't. Yeah, like, yeah. I, forgot if, I forgot if it was you, Visitor, or somebody, I know, maybe it was someone in here right now, but to try and jerk off the fucking uh, clone troopers in Clone Wars so hard and make them seem so badass that like a hundred could take down a droid army of a million, and then make them so incompetent as stormtroopers, just really, oh God, really I hated feels that. like the They're dumbing the down of Star Wars, man. It's like... It's, it's did they just did they lobotomize the, the troops after the clone wars? But, yeah. All right, there was... uh, all clones go in this line. All normal humans go in this line. And you hear a loud scream in the clone line every time a new clone goes in. But I, I wouldn't be surprised they, did... they just lobotomized them. And then the Empire just conquered every planet they saw, and they were like, oh, get these schmucks and put them in the army. And then they were like, yeah, clones, you're gonna retire. Like, I here's know. what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. If the Empire is this stupid and this incompetent, but still conquered the galaxy, how incompetent is the how incompetent is the galaxy itself? <laughs> Dear <laughs> God. <laughs> Damn this coffee mine. Since apparently Palpatine was the smartest uh, have of you guys, all to master his Guys, let's plan. talk about these weird-looking fucking ATSDs that they added. They don't. Oh. They're not. <sighs> they're not ATSTs. I. Um, I know, but they just still well, look. Retarded. What are they? ATPTs? They look like I was gonna derpified. I was I was just gonna say that I recognize them from like Galactic Battlegrounds. I could have swore they were in those. I but think they're like I digress. I think I can actually find them really really quick because I'm actually cataloging Star Wars stuff on my computer that I actually hold to be actual Star Wars. So but fuckers. Yeah. What they are is not ATST, not ATPT, not AT anything. They're just there. They're that just look like it. They're they just speeders with legs. I think oh, they're supposed yeah, to that most, would uh, actually probably closely. Be I think they're supposed to closely resemble the ATPT, but oh, there's one that's not a lot more close. close. Uh, and they just don't. ATPD was way shorter and stockier than that. 
So you, you know what makes me sad? Like they hired top notch voice actors like Why Steve Bloom for this. You guys are gonna end up watching. <laughs> Fuck you. I I done. I'm done. I saw a C3P on that. That's all I need. I'm done. I oh, stopped just watching wait, Star Glenn Wars years ago. going to be in it. <laughs> what would you do if they pulled the Nihilist? They they pull a Nihilist. They, they add Nihilist. They add Revan. They add Malik. Well, they they're not going to go that Glenn. far because this is going to be between <laughs> episode four and episode yeah. three, which is this is kind of bullshit. They will do anything for money. They like, will suck someone's dick okay, for money. Okay. Okay. Originally. <laughs> There was only two Jedi. <laughs> there originally there were it's not the ATAR though. It looks similar. Hmm. Originally there were only two Jedi that survived that we knew of. It was Obi Wan and Yoda. Vader just seems no, more like... incompetent now. Like Vader seems Dude, really incompetent. What you mean you didn't know that like half the order fucking survived? Everyone knew that. Well, I didn't. I guess I wasn't oh, up to date. Yeah. Knowledge. Luminar Undili fucking survived. Obi Wan oh, Kenobi. She didn't she Yoda. die? She died. Ahsoka on... survived too, apparently. Oh, so so sure. Ahsoka. oh, I'm sorry. No, she left the order. She's not a real. Je Shut the fuck up. I don't care. She's still willing. Well, like, she, she, left the the was... she left the order because she's fucking butt hurt. That's all. You know what? She probably gets she them did. back. She probably yeah, comes is, back, becomes the... a Jedi. Guys, guys, guys. Fucking a. Guys, this is the conversation between uh, her and fucking Anakin. He didn't fucking vote for me in the goddamn mission! <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know, they didn't believe you, but considering that they thought you might have- They didn't believe you, but I, I, here's the thing, here's the thing, hang on, hang on, I force choked as an adventurous even though for the first time in history she didn't do fucking shit for evil. For the first time in any oh, God. bullshit is it's, I... it's the same situation if someone like from a church was like arrested for blowing up like a section of the church and he's like, Oh the church doesn't believe me and one guy finally proved that he didn't do it and it's like, Oh well, you know, I'm gonna leave the church because no one trusted me. No shit, dude, they thought you blew up the fucking building. Holy shit, give him That's a great but... this the I Honestly, the one thing Clone Wars proved to me is, fuck the Jedi were stupid at the time, and really? needed to be purged. In a way, the I, Jedi I, were I stupid was... throughout the prequels in general. You know what? The fact that I rewatched the uh, uh, like the scene fuck? where fucking Anakin storms <sighs> the temple and with the clones and shit just to get that amusement out of my head. It's like, hmm, it, this seems you know, necessary now. You know what? No, you you know what I I I like I you know I've said before I like the old order versus the new order, but the thing uh, about Clone Wars and the prequels, shut up. The new the old new order is a bunch of whiny fucks anyway, and they're allowed to they, fuck well, all they're all want. fucking whiny so it doesn't matter. Fucks. It doesn't it doesn't matter. You know what? You give a Jedi the right to fucking get his rocks off all day long, and he's so whiny. Oh, my brother! I killed my brother. Oh, man, my family's gone. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I'm still gonna fall to the dark side because you know what? Star Wars has done nothing but prove to me, despite the fact that I still think the Jedi are cool in certain cases, that Jedi are self-fulfilling prophecies in that the Sith are like, you know what, we might be evil, murderous assholes, but at least we don't fucking whine about it 24 goddamn 7. Unless you're Darth Cadus, then you just bang your brother's bitch. That's Jason Solo. <laughs> of course he's going to whine. Yeah, Jason Solo. I, I absolutely I, hey, love Tahiri. Tahiri, come, come, come over here and join me. Can, you know, Anakin died, but hey, you know, let's do it. I mean, Jesus Christ. And I love too how, you know, I love how the author of that book, uh, of the book that came before was like, I never said that, and whatever. But... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Topic. Let's get yeah. the there. Hate is like one of the no, 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 Bane, fucking, Bane. Hang on, hang on a second. On fucking Jason Solo was, when he turned to the dark side and shit, wasn't he like, on record, one of the youngest Sith. I mean, well, he was famously. younger, but I mean, I think they were younger, younger out there. If you take into account, How like, Exar Kun, was he like in his teenage no, years? No, 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 he was like no. 30, 40. I believe one of the lost the tribes. He looked like he was in his, tw in I, his 20s bang, at most. Bang. Well, you know, you have to make him look good, Bane. I mean, come on.
I believe one of the Lost you Tribes know, Sith Lords had a daughter. Child. It's for the fangirls, dude. Okay, hey, ga ga girls. guys, guys, guys. The youngest Sith Lord yes. would probably be the one that was naturally born to the Lost Tribe leader guy. That became oh, Ben Skywalker's girlfriend. Yeah, shut just saying. No one, no one remembers her. Shut up. Nobody remembers her. She's, but, she's not real. Anyway, Tom Knight. They hire her, like I, I fucking... Love how... What's the deal? Like, every, every comic book I ever read on any fucking Jedi or Sith, it's always... They always have... If it's a male guy, they always have this moment where it's like... Every comic, they always either fucking get close to banging someone or just end up going, eh, kissy kissy. Yeah. Yeah. This is why Fuck. it is literally like you this, guys have no fucking state of mind of honor. I like, oh, I have a fucking wife at home. If I but, take uh, into account not, what I, Bane, holy shit, <laughs> try to talk here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I think if I take into account like what I just said about Jedi being whiny and how this like crosses over to Rebels and a little bit of the prequels, you know, despite the fact I like the prequels, I think this is why I like Exar Kun so much, frankly, as a Jedi slash Sith Lord, because when he turned to the Sith Lord. It wasn't because he was some whiny, fucking, issued, written asshole. He was just kind of power-hungry, you know? Same thing with Palpatine. He's just mm -hmm. a power-hungry, megalomaniac freak. And you know what? That's kind of cool. Darth Vader, I could stand because it was, like, the one guy who was, like, there originally. All right, you gotta give him a pass. He was one of the main characters already. But, oh, oh my god. Dude. Everyone else, Everything, though. Every single Jedi has either mommy or daddy issues, wants to fuck, but they don't go the full fucking way, or they do, and yet they want to complain about how, oh, the other Jedi don't understand, is oh my god, if you don't like it, oh, just leave. You, you know, in Rebels, I believe they hinted at it with the main Jedi guy in one of the other ones. What do you mean? Like they, Which other ones? Uh, it was either the Mandalorian or the Twi'lek that they hinted at it. Oh, oh, Twi'lek. I know, I, I, I was just wondering what the context of what you were saying was. No, Twi'lek. Totally the Twi'lek. Yeah, oh, I think you're right, God. actually. It's always the Twi'lek. What the fuck is wrong with Star Wars fans and Twi'leks? I don't understand. They're green. It's not that. It has to do with the fact that just weird, you know, I... Uh... But... Back I'd on topic. Here, there, there was in a, a good way. Okay, here's one thing I learned that I wish I didn't in Sotor back when I played it for like the longest That's fucking time. That's many things for me. Back, but, there mm -hmm. was a term that would go around in general chat a while. It's called Anchorhead. It has to do a lot with Twi'leks or Twi'leks. I don't need to imagine. I probably already know. <laughs> but, oh, you see, you apply. You apply. But, but, but. You apply the hands, dude. Just, hey, Bane, I gotta say Bane, 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 just stop. Bane, <laughs> Bane, we get, Bane, we got it, it's okay. But now we have to get back on topic because we're about to go to a whole nother section that we don't need to go to. Steve Bloom I, is in fucking I've, Rebels. I've already expended all my fucking rage on tour, so it's not even worth it for me. But the so fact that... What if Steve Bloom is in it? Doesn't so matter what? anymore. Rebels is give a shit. pointless. Well, the Steve fact Bloom, that they Steve hire all these Bloom? look, Steve Bloom has to make money. I understand that, so I'm not gonna blame the guy for it. All the voice actors don't give a shit. The problem here is the fucking creators. You know, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get at. Actors don't have any say in what happens. I mean, look, that like we, what me and Nick were talking about with my last video. Uh, Hayden Christensen wanted to change his fucking commentary or his script because he sounded too whiny, even to the actor. It doesn't matter what they want; it matters what the writers and the even fucking to him. studio want. You want. know it's bad. Hang on, hang on. To point out this, you know it's bad and really whiny when Christian Hayden's in the case. He's not that of bad. He he doesn't have any emotion in his voice for one, but also sounds like a whiny prat half the time he acts. So you know it is bad when he comes out and says, "Guys, um, maybe we should tone down the whininess a little bit." I've already gone into detail about how yeah. he's not really that bad of an actor, but I will accept the, the your fact, point. Here's the thing: if you hire these top-notch actors and you give them crap, like. It's pretty They're bad. They're gonna give you crap. Especially with Rebels. Like, Rebels is just bad. Oh my god. Like, and at least know, with the prequels, we got fucking badass yeah. CGI cutscenes. But fucking <sighs> this? It just creeps me out. I like how the Inquisitor is not only not able to use the Force, but I like how he's so skinny. 
how, Wars, how does that make sense? He has a lightsaber, looks like a goddamn Sith from Darth Nihilus's wet dreams, and uh, I don't understand this. How? How does he not have force? It doesn't make any sense. Does be, Vader? Did Vader look at him and go, uh, uh, motherfucker? I'm taking your force powers away so I don't get my ass in trouble. It's because Jarek. They'll never make as bad as a person as Jarek, so they gotta do something We're ridiculous. What are you talking about? Jarek doesn't exist. He's not canon anymore. Shut the fuck up. Jarek's not canon anymore. Jarek is the fucking best Inquisitor. Kyle, Kyle I'm waiting. Tarn's not canon anymore. I'm waiting for the cutscene in the next uh, supposed fucking Rebels where they just come out with a scene where it's the Inquisitor versus Glenn Merrick. Or who the fuck his name was. Galen Mark. G Galen Mark. Galen Merrick Mark. is his real name visitor. You fucked up and called him Glenn Mark. That is <laughs> and the joke. forever we shall call him Glenn Mark. Yes, Jesus, we shall. Just because his real name doesn't even matter. Everyone just knows him as Star <laughs> so He is Glenn Mark. I now announce you, Glenn. Oh, God. Th that's probably the Inquisitor's real name. That's why he's just called the Inquisitor. Now that I think I about it. If he's actually, if the Inquisitor is actually a force. Uh, like sickness stricken Glenn Merrick. I, I would laugh if that X turns out. He has, it's the same voice actor, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. I don't. I don't well, know. luckily I have this handy dandy thing called IMDb. Oh, y'all you know, are too it's, special. It's, I do too. It's a. It's another thing about Star Wars in general that has always bothered me about the fall of the uh, old order after Order 66 is that every Jedi that survived, because, you know, it wasn't just two, it was a billion and three, um, they all just start just yeah, like I'm giving sorry. up. I'm, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. So, did you just say a billion and three Jedi survived the mass extinction <laughs> and purges of yep. them? Come on. What? There's like half a million of them Hello, out there. Hello, uh, At the Empire, <laughs> I'd like to mention we need to put more funding into the killing of the Jedi. This is a serious issue. Um, Your Honor, my glorious Emperor, uh, it seems we have a problem. Yes, what is it? You know all those Jedi you wanted us to kill? What? <laughs> well, we missed about a billion or two. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um, Alright. All right. Go, go joke here, joke here. Making fun of the statistics aside, um, it, it's always bothered me oh, that fuck. the minute the Order fell and the Jedi were free of the Order, in a sense, Obi-Wan and Yoda seemed like the only ones who were like, you know, I'm going to stick to my morals, I'm going to stick to my code, and I'm not going to fuck around. Every single other one of the other was like, I'm going to become a bounty hunter, I'm going to start killing people, I'm going to become a mercenary, I'm going to fuck everything in sight, because now I can. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Cowboy <laughs> Jedi. I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The, well, <laughs> let's think about this in a sort of reality perspective more than a sort of, Jesus oh, we're Jedi, we're gonna follow every fucking rule. Um, but, like, well, let's be honest here, bounty hunting as a Jedi would have been more profitable than selling food. Food or fucking guns or something. I don't know. I guess like it, I guess, but no, I mean, is it asking too much for me to want people who are all about protecting those who couldn't protect themselves, despite the fact most people treated them like shit, to actually like be a rebel, but not like this fucker who's obviously not really doing his you job. You mean that you way. mean the cowboy Jedi who's like, you know what, kid, you did something useful. I'm gonna train you to become a Jedi. Yeah, not that faggot. I mean, like, a Jedi who just fights for a rebel cause because they know it's the right thing to do. I mean, is that so hard to ask, or is it going to be like fucking Asherod Het all the time, where, oh, Order 66, I'm going to go join my clan on Tatooine and try to kill all the fucking farmers, because, you know, that's why uh, Don't remind I mean, me of that asshole. I mean, come on, why can't a Jedi, after the fall of the Order, be like, you know, you know what, I'm gonna fight you, even if it fucking means my death. Some of them did that, but then you get situations like with the old Darth Vader story, where he found all those Jedi on, what was it, Kessel or something? Kashyyyk. No, it, it was the one where they were, they were all meeting, like, almost directly after Order 66. Uh, uh no, it wasn't Kashyyyk, it was not one with a K. Wait, guys, guys, Kessel. I got a crazy idea. We're all getting wait, hunted wait, 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 down wait, wait, wait. by the Empire, and we're all being betrayed. Let's all meet up at the same place where we can just get all killed. But, no, 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 no. It, it was, was that, the best place. Let's meet up. It was, Let's a meet up. Come on. it was a conclave of surviving Jedi, and one of them happened to be 
Oh man, I forgot what his name was. It started with a K. And he was there. Thanks, Mr. K. And basically, basically, Balter Swan, who was a little more uh, famous than the other Jedi survivors, she was there. And she was like, no, we have to be Jedi. We have to fight the Empire, but not drop our moral code. And he was like, fuck you. And he killed her. He was a Jedi. And he just killed her. And then Vader came in and killed all of them. So what was the point? Oh, yeah. I, I really want Vader to just rip off a mat. Like, he's he's actually one of the Jedi at the Enclave meeting and, like, in a costume and shit. Him to rip off his... He's out of and they go like, surprise, motherfucker. Uh, one interesting thing real quick is that James Earl Jones is apparently voicing Darth Vader in Rebels. Oh, good. Well, Whoa, fuck, I feel sorry for his paycheck. Yeah. And apparently they brought uh, Billy D. Williams in to do Lando. <laughs> yeah, they brought the guy back. <laughs> <laughs> right fuck back. you, fans of Star second. Wars. Ask me, ask me one important question, though, visitor. Do mm. I care? Do you care? No, not one fucking bit. Good. Again, they have to make their money. They're like, hey, do you want to do Star Wars? And they're like, fuck, easy paycheck. Yeah, I'll do it. It doesn't matter. I'm sure James Earl Jones is a nice dude, but I'm sure he really does not care about the can of Star Wars. Okay, come on. I'm pretty sure. I mean, he's like, hey, you want me to do Darth Vader? Yeah, okay. Even though James Earl Jones, when he did Darth Vader the first movie, thought, this movie's gonna suck so bad that I don't even want them to use my name in the credits. And then when it got really popular, he's like, oh, shit, you want me back? Okay, put my name in the credits. Uh, another thing, too, is that the guy that voices Inquisitor is, in fact, Jason Isaacs. I don't know who that is. So people who care. know that, people who know that, who that is, I applaud you. But yeah, he's not one of the most popular voice actors around. I'm surprised they got him. I mean, the guy acts so cool. I mean, he pulls out his lightsaber, puts it in front of him, and then just lets it spin. Oh, do you want to see something cool? Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, you gotta fight this. Oh, what? You can fling me halfway across the room? Freaking, and, uh, I, I would just want, uh, like, freaking General Grooves to go, I invented that shit, motherfucker. How dare you? No one gives a shit about Grievous. No, no, no. I've Grievous. seen Blades before nah. it was cool. <laughs> no, you didn't. Put on oh like a hipster God. hat and shit. But there is no physically way that shit should work. Like the beam it would not really be able shouldn't. to bend. Where where no. would you put the crystal too? Where would you put the crystal? The focusing crystal. There's no way that it would work that way. But uh, again, you're you're assuming but you're assuming Disney. Disney is going to follow the canon of what is, uh, makes a light yeah, Okay, no, I'm, they're I'm assuming they're gonna follow some basic logic. They don't have logic, they're just like, hey, there's a little tiny itty bitty microscopic device at the end of this little machine that makes it work. Who cares? They don't have to explain anything to you, they can make it up as they go. They don't care about you or your opinion. They don't care about anyone's opinion but their own. Yeah, they're kind of bullshit. They're really oh, bad. No shit. I've been saying that since this whole thing started, but no one wants to fucking listen to me. And of course, there's gonna be people who be like, "Oh, it's not that bad. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like uh, it's you know, not cool. Original. It's fucking horrible. It's, kind of like, it's like the original movies. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not at all. You um, know what? I may hate him with a fucking fiery passion, but I'd rather watch a fucking hour of Han Solo reading a children's book to fucking Jason and Jaina than this bullshit. <laughs> when he's drunk as well. The yeah, that no, but you. It's like the original, because they're like fighting the Empire and shit. Oh, gee, gee. Anyone fighting the Empire automatically makes it original. Holy shit, yeah. I never knew that. Formula to everything. No, you know what? This is, again, symptomatic. <laughs> Of original trilogy fanboys wanting so hard to capture that magic from the original trilogy that Disney's like, all right, we're gonna make this show that's all about fighting the Empire, and you're all gonna buy it because you're all a bunch of fucking sheep. Wait, that's right, I called here, you sheeple. Here's the thing: <laughs> every single one, every single person in there can fit into characters from the original story. Like they're mm. pretty much almost a like copy paste. Mm, nah. Well. Boy, <laughs> unknown boy, mysterious guest, gets taught by this new teacher guy, crew of however many, Astromech droid. Right. I will say we have the Han Solo type in the uh, the Jedi, uh, weirdly enough. We have, um, we, we do have archetypes, but you know, you kind of have archetypes in anything, so 
I mean, that's kind of passable, but it's still stupid and obvious who they're who they're supposed to be from the movie. But in this one, they don't. They really don't try to hide it. Like it's very noticeable. You know, it's obvious Disney doesn't give a shit about movie logic anyway. Since Luminara's still alive, why don't we just have Mace Windu be alive and part of the rebellion? Why don't we he, just do that? He survived. He totally can we, survived. Can we also drop. give him a purple? Hang on. If Mace Windu is alive, then he should also not just get a purple lightsaber, but a purple fur covered suit. I want to why see him arrive in a. Uh, what would be the equivalent of a speeder, like, uh, fucking limo? Speeder limo? Is that even a thing? I can't remember. It's gonna it's be like now, because you like mentioned it. An air car or <laughs> something. Air speeder. Fucking no, he air, gets, air, air car he, limo. It's a Star Destroyer, so, and it's uh, all purple. He gets a purple much. Star Destroyer. I don't know what would be harder to wa- uh, sit through. This show, or <laughs> fucking watching The Force Unleashed 2 cutscene straight through for an hour. Because it's like an hour the long. Show. The show. There, there I, is I, more I, I was being sarcastic because I know I'd there... rather watch Force Unleashed. Everyone would. Because you know oh, what? Yeah. As, much as, as much as Glenn Mark breaks the canon of Legends, you know what? He's, he's in his own little fucking cubby corner. No one cares anymore about Glenn Mark. You know? It just doesn't matter to me anymore. Rebels is an active fucking thing. And it just hurts me that already, despite the fact the show only has like three episodes out, IMDB already has like an 8.7 out of 10 for the fucking thing. 8.3. My apologies. Yeah, but they, they don't... Here's the thing about IMDB. They rate it as a movie or as a TV show on you know, the fucking thing. Uh, not and as it's fucking surprisingly quality. It, it's air quote quality, not not villainous... not as it being Star Wars or its brand. So just saying that a villainous agent Callus. Uh, who? God, fucking Captain Mutton Chops. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Roman, Roman Helmet Head. You mean? Oh yeah, Roman him. Oh my God, he looks so bad. I like how Such a they, I they, they try to make everyone look so around. menacing, but you know that no one's gonna die. It's almost like this whole show is a full of bunch of tryhards. Wait, who is this mysterious oh, stormtrooper number one? Oh, never mind. It's actually literally just the voice for every stormtrooper derp moment. <laughs> yeah. uh, they, I love how IMDb is so is fucking pointless. literal. Uh, God, I hate. I hate. I can't even stand it in the movies. I understand the movies because it's the plot calls for it. But how utterly useless the stormtroopers no, are. No, no, no. Here's, here's the thing. It was back then. It's the time frame. I can forgive it because of the time frame. Nowadays, it's absolutely unforgivable. Like, if yeah, you can yeah. say. You know, no, no, in the original thing. movies, it was. Okay, in the original movies, it was because the way they acted that way was because one, it was a way of defining the heroes and as a sort of story plot. It was making the heroes and the rebels look incredibly fucking badass and make them more interesting as characters and just put more focus on the heroes rather than paying no attention to how amazing and productive the fucking empire is. Um, but yeah. And if you actually, if anyone out there reads the actual books, reads the goddamn books, you would understand that the one thing important about a stormtrooper is that they go through fucking years worth of training. And they don't do stupid shit like that in the movies and the Clone Wars. And, well, they actually act more like the clones from the Clone Wars, like tactical fucking soldiers. Like they're supposed to be. But like with how, exactly. how how they're portrayed in this show and uh, with the movies, but again we can forgive the movies. It's not because acceptable. It's just, absolutely, it's called for in the movies, but like with this show, it just makes you feel like Empire doesn't need this fucking army if it's this useless. Just bombard planets that don't listen to you if you need to quash them that hard. You know, you're already building a Death Star to blow up planet. What's the problem with you bombarding one into orbital annihilation? What's the, what's the problem? One, I'm already planning on blowing up ones. I don't listen to you. Why doesn't any fucking movie or... Have they ever done this in a Clone Wars or what? Rebels fucking episode where they go, well, you know what, We're uh, send send this Star Destroyer over there. Yeah, over there? Yeah, okay. Uh, do this for me. Yeah, press that uh, take care button. No. 
Oh, it just, it just bombards the planet below us. And Don't worry. Clone Wars, the close, and Clone Wars, the closest they got were just bombing runs. The only yeah, thing I can say right. that kind, of, the only thing that logically, uh, that I know stops them from just bombarding every world is that they they came up with the uh, planetary shields after a while because they there was that yes, logical. Yes, but that was after. Hang on, that was after the Empire uh sort of stole some of the Gungan and Gene Ocean tech. So yeah, but they didn't. But they remember, still they did didn't it. have it. But they in didn't Clone have Wars, that shit in the until Clone Wars. The, Cool. In any of the given wars that came before, they had the technology. The whole idea is that you know you conquer worlds. You don't want to obliterate them totally because you want something to actually rule over once the war is over. But still, if you're getting that much fucking problems from one planet out of the literal quintillions in the galaxy, just let the one go. Let okay. the one go. But then they have a rebel uprising. You need to kill the rebels. Sign Sorry. up for the Empire today. Here, here. Here's one thing. If Ben 10, if fucking Ben 10 can be a more uh, serious show than you, then you're doing something wrong. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, I'm willing to say it's the apocalypse, gentlemen, because you. I never thought Star Wars could fuck over itself so bad, but I, I need to check the uh, end times prophecy, see if this is actually a first sign, because I'm pretty sure it is at this point. <laughs> Like, if fucking Cartoon yeah. Network can create darker <laughs> shows than you can, then you have a problem. End times prophecy. And there will be a time where there will be a pop culture icon that will, in a few years' time, suck so much balls that people will complain about it all time. And literally, I believe it. only a few will care, because the other ones are too stupid and will watch it anyways. That's right, I called you stupid for watching this show. I don't care. Careful, some it. people might take offense. I don't care. All you know 2%. Like, if, people get, if people get so angry... No, no, if people get so angry at me that they, that they like, because I said, if you watch Rebels, you suck, and I, like, I can't put any more videos up because people don't like me that much, good. That means I don't have to put any more time and effort into these fucking videos. Fuck you. Wait, we put effort into this shit? Yes. I, I put no effort into mine, but whatever. I put the minimal effort into mine. Same I feel thing. obligated, so... I feel obligated, so that's that's my effort. I don't care. Fuckers. But they they really Good are... professionalism. They're really fucking up Listen so to my badly. video on how I feel about professionalism. <laughs> Fair enough. I I'm just waiting for the episode when they show off the half-built Death Star, and it's actually... Got on one side. And Mickey I'm Mickey waiting Mouse for the episode when the, when Darth Vader comes on and he's just the most incompetent, bumbling, blundering he, asshole. He's moron. <laughs> he's gonna trip over his own cape when he comes on. You watch. <laughs> he's just gonna walk. Okay, okay. Here's how it's gonna go. It's gonna be like the start of the episode. The Inquisitor's on the bridge of his star star, which has the stupidest longest neck ever. Apparently, whoever's <laughs> making this show doesn't know what the hell a star star looks like. Wait, wait. Isn't anyway. wait? Hang on. Isn't the Inquisitor like a race? Like I've heard. I know this phrase. No. I've fucking seen it before. It's like they have big foreheads and long necks. I'm no. from. It's no. Long he's not a moon. He's the he's no, the no, he's them. the people from uh, Utapau. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, he is. I don't think so. Yeah, he no, is. He, his skin would be more fucked up. No, I'm if looking at, look at, he if is. If you look at a picture, close up, he has those stupid lines going down his head, and those rat teeth that the people had on Yeah, the, uh, he does. Mouth. Yeah, he does. Carl's right. God, what but they anyway. A pow on, or whatever the fuck they're called. And Nick. He basically, he's a toned down. Look, he's more pussy than Darth Desolus, man. Oh. If Darth Desolus, your own a part of your own race, is more badass than you, you fucked up. All right, Nick. What are we gonna say about Darth Vader being on the bridge? <laughs> oh yeah, well, anyway, as I was saying, uh, Inquisitor's on the bridge, he's looking at some other stuff, and then all of a sudden Darth Vader just, for no reason, walks in and is like, Inquisitor! And then Inquisitor's like, my lord, you grace me with your presence! And then Vader goes, how goes everything? And the Inquisitor goes, everything is fine! And then Vader's like, good. And then he, wa and then he turns around and starts walking away, and he, like, trips on his cape, he's like, Pfft! 
<laughs> Are you alright, my lord? <laughs> yes! Why does this always happen to me? So then he gets up and walks off screen and we never see him again the end. And then he just said, yeah, 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 yeah. fan service. <laughs> World's smallest then, violin. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. And, then, and then, guys, 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 an officer comes up to the Inquisitor and says, Sir, would you like me to shine your bald head now, sir? <laughs> I no, said do it on Wednesdays, today's be, Tuesday. It would be even more hilarious, because this would be how dumb Disney thinks their its audience is, if an officer walked up to the Inquisitor and said, That was Darth Vader. Really? <laughs> I had no fucking clue. No, no better yet, better yet. It was one officer that looks like the average star. The owner's like, dude, that was Darth Vader, dude. No way. Dude, and then the Inquisitor Darth just looked at him and goes, you Darth fucking Vader, idiot. I want to smack you. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that wasn't so much a common thing. Autographs weren't common. It was more you getting your chopped head off by lightsaber. Lightsaber. You know. You know what? May, maybe by the grace of whatever, Vader will appear in the last episode, last season, and just choke out Inquisitor and just kill him. Like well, maybe by the grace of whatever. The only thing that can save the show. I, I want him to choke him out while my while Luke is watching and Leia is watching and fucking half of the bullshit that. It, it should have never happened. Fucking doesn't happen. You know, Clone Wars. I, Clone I know. Wars didn't meet up to what I thought it was going to be in the sense that I, you know, I didn't want to watch Clone Wars, but I thought that they'd have the balls at least by the end of the show <laughs> because I figured that they had to tie it in Episode Three, that they had to like that they would either that they would kill Ahsoka oh, in some nah, way. Nah, nah, nah. You wanted to I tie. Thought, you, wanted to, thought, oh, pff, you wanted to tie nah, it with Episode Three. What the nah, fuck nah, is wrong with you? Go man, go watch the old Clone Wars show, the two D one. That no, what I'm saying is that I but thought they'd have want a the time? balls. Bang, you, bang, you want a time? How bang. dare you? How dare you come to Cartoon Network and ask for a time? Bang, bang, for a multi-billion bang. dollar... Calm bang. down, Bane. You need to come off your high a little bit. Motherfucker. Calm down a little bit. How dare you abuse your power? Anyway, but what anywho. I'm saying, what I thought that they would have the balls to tie in the show the most minimally because they gave Anakin Skywalker a fucking apprentice that they'd like say, all right, we know that this is really stupid, but don't worry, we'll kill her just so it fits in a little bit with the movie. But no, they're so pussy that they shove her into the new show because they can't get rid of her because all the kitties love her now. Yeah, I'm not reason. sure if that's official. I'm assuming that's you know official because she's a poster girl. The worst she's part is still alive. that. True. But and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, visitor. Is that they were too pussy to kill her off. True. So now the gates are open you... for her. And any of all these stupid fucks to show up in the new movies. Uh, uh, the worst oh, part about the Clone Wars is that Ahsoka is literally the the main issue. She is always the reason why Anakin has to fuck up so many missions or go back and fucking save her again. Like that is very know. true. And then other Mario times it's versus his, Peach. Other times it's his and, incompetence, but most of the time it's her. Yeah. And that's not even the worst part. Is she was in the script? You could tell. Like they really wanted to kill her off in the first four seasons. They had so many scenes where she almost died. They were like. Should we pull the plug now? Should we pull it? Should no. We really fucking no, do it no. this time, please. No. I want to get rid of the Ahsoka. Come on, please. No, babe, We've been no, babe, this babe. goddamn babe. script for five years. They gotta cock tease it. <laughs> I would have respected Clone Wars a little more if they had dropped the fucking uh, preliminary and just killed her and just said, yes, you all saw it coming. You all know it had to be this way. She's fucking dead. It do- because according to Disney... Bane, according to Disney, no matter how much you may hate it, that Clone Wars show is canon. So, in some fucking way, it has wait, to fit wait, with wait, the wait, wait, wait. You mean General Grievous is still alive then? Oh, fuck. No, it has to fit in with canon. So, episode 3 shows him dying. Okay, so, wait, which is more canon, though? The TV shows or, All of it. or the movies? All of it. Movies which one are, comes first, the- though? According to Disney, the movies are still the most canon, but they said that the only things that are canon to them in their press release is the movies and the Clone Wars TV show and now Rebels and their books and comic books have yet to come out. 
basically all the bullshit no one cares for. Everything except for the movies uh, and the Clone Wars and now Rebels is out. It's out. Thrawn never existed. Paleon never existed. Nobody existed except RJ the RJ never existed. Eclipse Superstar Destroyer that Lucas everybody fell same... in love with never existed. Yep. Didn't Lucas think the same thing too? That no. Like, a lot of the EU stuff was. No, 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 Nick. I'm not. I'm not saying Lucas didn't think some stupid shit when he, like, you know, he said basically the only thing he thought to do canon were the, were the movies no, but... and his TV show. But he said mm -hmm. that there were that there was this other universe that he accepted everyone else kind of fit in. And he didn't mind it. And you know what? He didn't go out of his way to change shit when he changed shit and messed up things. We didn't go out of his way to say that's you know, not the, canon. That's not canon. The only thing he really messed with. Really messed with. The, oh. guys, the best ideas always come out when George Lucas isn't writing the script. Have you ever noticed that? No. He's not writing, he's like, not writing read this any script. Any of the books. He's not writing this script. He's not writing episode that's 7 why, script. It's so that's fucking why I'm not awful. entirely worried on the movie. Because it's probably going to be better than what George no, Lucas had no, planned. No, it's not. Let's no, be no. Mm -mm. Okay. Han Solo book is like on that. the... F Can I... <laughs> I just rephrase realized how it. stupid that sounded. It's going to suck either way. It's just... However, if you notice book wise, just book wise, like the Thrawn, like the Thrawn stuff, the the Yuzhong Vong, whatever you want to pronounce it, the anything about the extended universe stuff, all that good jazz, everything that every fucking thing that made it even better, all all for time, all that stuff, pretty much had no nothing to do do with George Lucas. He was like, eh, you guys just take over from here. Really? You want me to write? I think. Yeah, no. I'll just slap my name on it. See what happens. Well, really, if you think about it, he did kind of give birth to everything. This is my problem with the whole people hating prequel stuff. This is this is just my problem, and I know people have made this excuse before, but you know what? Give the guy a break in what he wanted to do with his universe because that's just the point. It's his universe. Well, how would you like it if you woke up one morning and created this vast universe that people really loved, really enjoyed, and yet you couldn't do a damn thing in your own universe because everyone would give you shit for what, what you wanted to do with your own creation? You know, it's like if you had a kid and someone said, I don't like the way you're dressing your kid. This is how he or she should be dressed. It's like, what the fuck are you? I want to do what I want. So now that he's given away Star Wars, he, that's why he said he would never make an Episode 7. Because he was tired of people constantly giving him shit over the prequels. And you know what? Fuck off. It's not, they're not that bad. Rebels is bad. Rebels is bottom of the fucking barrel. That's the black hole I, that's going to eat Star anyone Wars. Anyone who's ever said that... Anyone who's ever said the prequels were bad needs to watch the first two of, the pre, of um, Rebels and say... To me, to my face, that the prequels are still worse. Because frankly, I would rather have the epic ass CGI that cut scenes of epic battle proportions with the fucking droids and the clones and the Jedi and all that other jazz and fucking who who was the play the Emperor that did an amazing it, job. It was a Iron fantastic. He, job. Yeah, him. he did the Emperor. I in loved episode his six, work. Two. Oh, he, did the he did the um, emperor. Did he? he did. He did the emperor in five, but they used someone else to be to look like him in that one little clip he was in. But he he did the voice, and then he did he played the emperor in episode six, and he's been playing the emperor ever since. So yeah, he's pretty amazing. It's and the, the same guy. It's the same guy in all the movies except for episode five. They actually put his new face in because of the you know the re releases. Yeah, but that, that that's one scene, change I agree with. <laughs> That really crappy CGI of that really old person showing up in episode 5, that's actually a woman who they put a little face mask into. But it's actually him doing the voice, so it doesn't really fucking matter. Uh, one thing is the guy that plays Obi-Wan. I can't remember his Ewan, name. Ewan McGregor. Uh, him. He did an amazing yeah. job, too. Yeah, he but did. Let's, let's not get on the prequels, because I've already made a pet not to talk that much about the prequels. But, so... They, careful, if careful, I remember, walking into deep waters here. If I remember correctly, yeah. they did also get him to voice, which I understand actors gotta get money. But the fact that they used him for Rebels just is. Ugh. Wait, I Ian McGregor's I, in Rebels? I, End I of episode two. Ewan McGregor. No, they did. That's him. Or no, it's not. It's the same guy that did Clone Wars. 
Okay, th I'm about to say, Visitor, they get the same guy, and the guy from Clone Wars sounds kind of similar, but not exactly all that similar. Yeah, it's not. Um, they actually, none of the original actors in the prequels were in, uh, aside from, I think, the Boba, mini Boba Fett kid from Episode 2. He may have been literally the only character who had a voice acting job in the Clone Wars, as far as I know. You know, it's wrong. just, you know, it's just really embarrassing, again, that, you know, you, I, the thing about the Clone Wars is that, especially, like, with Episode 2 and then Episode 3, you feel like this war is going on, and it is, like, an actual fucking war, where mass armies are just annihilating each other, you know, droids, whatever. But then it, it gets really embarrassing because this massive army that defeated an army like 20 times bigger with the droids can't kill five rebels. Are, are you for real? Are you for real? Are, are you that horribly incompetent? Well, the Clone Wars. I, I, yeah, I honestly think, and this is the only viable excuse for this, what could be going on is after the war ended. All the cl leftover clones are like, guys, they're either going to kill us or force us into continuing being soldiers. What do we do? <laughs> well, we're probably going to have to kill innocent people. So what are we going to do? Act like total derp wads. Act incredibly fucking derpy and don't aim to save your life. Do not aim. Do not ever aim. Billy, well, do not I aim. I told you. That. Put that gun down and put it upside down. I would, I suppose, go for that if it weren't for the fact that they marched on the temple and murdered several fucking thousand Jedi, but whatever. Pay no attention. Hey, Pay hey, no hey. attention to for the every bloody several thousand, of the temple. For every <laughs> several thousand they murdered, precisely 25,000 got away. I know, visitor. Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got a They're... picture to show you later. Considering there's only supposed to be 20,000 Jedi active in the galaxy, it kind of boggles my mind how so many live, but whatever. And originally, like I said, originally there was only two. Now you got this cowboy asshole. Ahsoka. And fucking Ahsoka. Guys... Luminara. <sighs> and, you know, I keep seeing this fake picture online of Barris Afi being part of the Empire. No. But you know what? They, they may very well do it. They may no. very well do it. They, no. They, they'll... It, it doesn't work... It doesn't work anymore, Visitor, because they said she was dead because she was a Jedi in Episode 3, but now it doesn't work because Clone Wars made her evil and she was supposed to be in prison. So which is it? She died during Episode 3, or she was just in prison and the Emperor's like, Hey, do you want to work for me, bitch? I mean, what, what, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if that, we all know. We all know the true Empire would be like, Fuck you, you're dead. You're a threat, you're dead. But no. Yeah, because she, because she fell to the dark side because she saw some shit. Bitch, everyone saw some shit. It was the Clone Wars. Man, you were fighting droids that don't feel, they don't think, they just kill. That's the one cool thing about the droids. That was the one thing that I really bought about droids, was that why they're so terrible. is because they don't think, they don't feel, they just do. Yeah, do they, they die in masses? Actually, That's the point. No they one brought cares that about up. droids. They brought that up in Clone There's Wars. There's actually a bunch books of that text, explain Carl. why... I'm not joking, there are actually books out there that explain why the fuck the droid B1 battle droids are so derpy. It's be literally because of the AIs that are implanted, that they're so yeah, mass-produced they that the cost-effectiveness shitty... would be to implant a shitty AI versus a actual effective one. Like well, the actually, Commando battle actually... droids, or the B2 battle droids, or the, even the B3 super battle droids, because why the fuck B not? B3 Ultra. Four-armed epic droids. B3 Ultras, but it's actually yeah, kind of yeah. more ass-backwards because the B1 battle droids actually aren't the same thing as the ones from Episode 1, which are OOM battle droids. And the OOMs actually have a oh, lot yeah, that's more right. powerful... Oh, they yeah, they are different. ...processing power. The OOMs have more processing power. They're actually a lot smarter. And if you look at Episode 1 droids, they actually are smarter! And they don't sound that derpy. Do they still say they Roger, don't even... Roger and shit? But look, even that commander battle droid in episode one, I actually, as a kid, thought was kind of cool, even though he was, like, the most 
like random character. You know, oh, yeah. he gave orders. He looked at the army, gave orders. He commanded the droids to go forward, and they did derpify as they walked forward. They just marched. Yeah, they died, but keep on marching, keep on shooting. Tell the Gungans put their hands up. Oh shit, the droid tower went down. Everyone just slouch over. Then we get B one <laughs> battle droids, and as the movies go on, they get derpier and derpier. I, I blame dumber. Sidious. It has to be serious, because honestly, you know, whole master plan. Then you look at, like, crab droids, spider droids, uh, the tank droids, the hail, on the hail, hail, hail fire aspect. droids. Like, droids were awesome! Yeah, yes, and they, and they were. And they, they were very were awesome. Just, the ships even looked amazing, too. Like, yeah, to a certain degree. The, yeah, like at least there wasn't pointy ship, pointy ship, pointy ship, pointy ship, pointy ship, and actually, uh, actually, and uh, uh, Tim would you know? Tim would agree with you. Tim is really tired of the uh, the uh, wedge design. The spear. Thinks, yeah, yeah, he thinks that the, 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 the droid ships are actually a lot more uh, intricate, interesting, and just different in general, which they kind of were. On an aspect of were they different looking? Yeah, they sure as hell were different looking. But they were Have also you ever noticed brutal. that whenever it's not the Republic or the Empire, the other faction that's fighting said Republic or Empire, it's literally ships that used to be transport vessels or cargo yep. haulers or mm -hmm. uh, civilian usage that just slap turbo lasers on and just call it a fucking battleship? Yep. Oh, <laughs> Hey, yeah, even hey. the CIS were like, whoa, 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 rebels, calm down. We used banking frigates. Mon down. Calamari, <laughs> but their ships look like giant banking. pieces. The Mon Calamari ships look like giant pieces of shit. Mon Calamari <laughs> ships are dicks with STDs. <laughs> Stop choking yeah. on George Lucas's dick, damn it! You will please him well. No, oh, shut the fuck up, Bane. <laughs> Please but on, anyway, please. the droid army was very brutal, and you're telling me that these incompetent stormtroopers beat them? <laughs> they weren't stormtroopers, they were clone troopers. I don't give a damn. Yeah, They're the same they, were with they were stars. They were Mandalorians, man. They were, they were clones from Jiggle. Finn, you bad at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's being serious anymore. I'm scared. <laughs> it's the same thing. People m mix up the clones with Mandalorians just because they were cloned from Jango Fett, just because they were trained by Mandalorian mercenaries hired by the Kaminoans, because the Kaminoans are too stupid to train them themselves. That automatically makes them Mandalorians. I mean, no they one doesn't use like brain. No, they're not. They also they're absolutely are not brainwashing and and. They really went wet all out with the type of training they did for the clones, because they use like brainwashing, fucking neural mapping, crazy shit. Um, I remember they also did a lot of simulations and whatnot. Heck, even it, it, the stuff they did honestly would make the Empire go, whoa, 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 calm down with the training. A little bit much, don't you think? Well, the, mm. the thing about the Kaminoans was they wanted to build the perfect army for the, you know, Republic or whatever. They just wanted to build a perfect army, so they went balls deep Yes, because that's name it after a guy who gets his head cut off. They wanted to, well, he Django Fett aside, they wanted to, they just wanted him for his physical template. I don't think they really cared about his, like, you know, personal abilities. They kind of more or less wanted him for his physical uh, template, because, I mean, he went through some shit, and Duke was like, okay, yeah, we'll go with you, even though that's out of the fucking canon now. Um, he's just some asshole Duke who picked up on the street. Um, but my problem with the clones is that people want to suck the dick of the clones so much, but you know what? I'm going to state it right here. I don't think the clones are people. I've never considered They're them people. people. Do I do I care if a ten million clones die in the war? No, I don't. Here, and you know what? I hope more of them die because they're only fodder for the fucking flames of here, war. They, here's they are they are organic droids. That's why it's called the yeah. Clone Wars because the droids are mechanical clones and the clones are organic clones. Shut the fuck up. They're meant to die. Deal with it. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was gonna say just now. Is that they're basically droids only except organic. That was the kind of thing about the war. That's what I always thought was kind of like clever was that the reason why the, the Clone Wars, you could really see the Clone Wars as being just clones versus droids. Well, if you really think about it, 
The only difference between the two is that one's organic and one's mechanical. The mechanical just happen to suck a little more than the organic ones for some reason. You know what? Now that I think about it, if they were so incompetent, if they were so incompetent, it's not really a wonder why they lost. The the CIS would have just won if they stopped manufacturing B1 droids and no, just no, no. put funding with Cortasis droids and freaking uh, what were the Magna Guards and the Super Battle the, the Super Battle droids were more intelligent and they were big hunking pieces Here, of metal here's that were thing. kind of eh. Bang. The droids, it's basically, from my game, it's more like an ant mentality, where the more of them there are, the smarter they are. Because it's kind of no, like a hive collective, that, that almost. Was, General Grievous wouldn't have half the fucking problems he had. True. Well, the thing about the B-1s was that the, the CIS was going for swarm tactics with the B-1s, where there's just so many that eventually, if they're all shooting at the same time, you'll get killed, which, it, it worked. I mean, yeah. And I mean, the droids were so fucking, uh... You know, easy to produce. They had over what was it, a hundred or twenty some quintillion. They, they outnumbered the clones like literally a million to one. I mean, how did they lose this war? The only reason they lost the war was because Sidious made it that way. He told Dooku to put them on the defensive because if they went on the offensive, the CIS would have won. The only reason they lost was because Sidious wanted to take over the Republic, not some quasi confederation that took over with people like Newt Gunray in power. Oh god. Oh like, god. You know what? Yeah, that's, yeah. Newt that Gunray would have done a way worse Ollie job. Federation, if anyone ever played Eve. <laughs> Newt Gunray would have done a way worse job than anyone in uh, Empire. Uh, Newt Gunray. Fucking idiots. He is a moron who cannot do shit correctly. I, it's bad when Grievous says he doesn't like you. <laughs> like, it's really Grievous, bad when Grievous hey, hates you. Grievous may have been a sociopathic, genocidal, murdy, murder, oh, sorry, murdering psychopath who just hated within the passion of the Jedi. But here's the thing. At least he had his fucking reasons. And at least when he hated someone, he didn't hate them because of what they look, what the fucking race. He didn't give a shit. If you fucked up royally and he hated you, well, I hope you have a Cortasis fucking shield because you're going to need it. I, I, I believe Grievous said at one point the only reason he didn't kill New Gun Rage was because of Count Dooku. Oh, Grievous, Grievous, like, I don't know, he had that kind of, you know, Grievous is the proto-Vader, so he had to have some sort of, like, suck-your-dick mentality for his master, and his master in this case was Dooku, so he did highly respect him, and yeah, I think he was supposed to garner probably. that. You were supposed to garner that also, from the fucking TV shows, because in the movies he had no fucking dialogue, what the fuck? I think he was just programmed that way. Freaking, he's not a droid. Uh, Grievous actually actually has, and I'm not joking when I say this, there is actually an implant uh, implanted into his brain when they picked up his body. Yeah, that's what I meant. Whatever, and the, he has an implant in his brain that is that literally designed to yes. make him continuously pissed off. No matter what. He's always pissed off. He's basically the... Well, but yeah, with robot that was the limbs. point. They wanted, they wanted him on their team, so they just made him uber fucking in crazy, eh, in crazy, eh, increasingly crazy, uh, with that fucking device because they just wanted some genocidal maniac. Even you know, if you took that out of his brain, just let him calm down a little bit, he might have actually been a bit of a better tactician instead of just being so angry all the time. They just like, God, kill them all, damn it. I mean, obviously the guy had issues. But he gets mad at droids remember... and he just slaps them around like they're fucking Based useless, what... which they kind of are. Well, but I mean, come on, calm thing. down. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. If you can have the choice of having an army of Sith warriors or B1 no. battle droids, which would you choose? Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. Droids. Droids. Seriously? I didn't hear the, the question because you cut out for some reason. The Sith would probably kill me and try to take my place. No, 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 no. What I what I mean is as soldiers, I not I as Sith. I didn't hear the question. So. Idealists. I said an army of Sith soldiers. Emphasis on the soldier, not as like, oh, we're a Sith Inquisitor, we're in charge or anything. No, just a fucking grunt Sith or something. 
Ah, oh, fuck. Droids. Oh, uh, never. Forget it. Forget what I said. Forget what I you said. You know what? Um, now that I think about it, you know who would have been a better villain than Inquisitor? Grievous. Yes, yeah, thank you. Or, or, Just or bring him back. that freaking spider dude. The, the cyborg spider dude who, who survived that explosion or whatever. Who became, what like, fuck? half spider. There, there's yeah, the... Hang on, I can't remember his name. Trench. It's Admiral Trench. something. Trench. Oh, Admiral Trench. Trench. That motherfucker, Mr. Oh, that sounds it awful. seems the Jedi are coming. He, he was really, he was a good tactician. And I, I just, fuck. They could have had so many better villains than fucking Inquisitor. The Inquisitor is just the biggest incompetent fucking move Disney has done so far in Rebels, which is saying a lot considering they've already made several glaring incompetent moves with this whole show idea in general. But the Inquisitor, you know, they couldn't even bother to come up with a really good villain, the kind of arch-type villain that's going to follow these fucks throughout the entire show, because you already know it's coming. I, I get the feeling that if people don't like him enough, that they'll kill him off and replace him with someone better. But that's the problem. I think the fuckwads who are going to watch this show are going to say he's fine. He's not fine. He's not needed. Oh, Get General Grievous God. to show him how to spin a blade. This, just bring Grievous back. Just fuck him. Just bring Grievous back. We <laughs> would accept Grievous it. Grievous back. Look, we will like, accept. Grievous? Look, we will accept Grievous alive if you get rid of fucking Inquisitor. Do you hear us, Disney? We are begging you. Bring back I mean, the homicidal sociopathic maniac, please. Grievous <laughs> is more incompetent as a fighter in the Clone Wars, but if it's a choice between Grievous and the Inquisitor, for God's sake. Grievous, he, Grievous has more self dignity than this. Uh, you know what? Grievous is more entertaining to watch, at least. At least he's a little fucking different too. This fucker is just another stock fucking crony of Sidious who looks like any generic fucking Sith you could come across on DeviantArt. Give me a break. No, DeviantArt makes better ones. Y you know what? That that's totally true. I fucking apologize to all the artists oh, on DeviantArt and don't forget you came up with more interesting designs than Disney. Carl, oh, Carl, you're also nothing. forgetting the fact that Darth Maul never actually fully died in the end of the Clone Wars. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. They they're figuring no, out this comic book. They're finishing up his comic book series right now. I don't know if their last issue has come out, but as far as we know. Talzin finally admitted to him that she's his mother. Somehow Darth Maul no. is supposed to somehow Darth Maul is supposed to like be on this vengeance quest to kill Grievous, Dooku, and Sidious. And it's not working out so well because it's just like, are you for real, Darth Maul? Will you just fucking die already? I think Holy the final shit. No, better yet. Why are you going after the two people that aren't the reason for your death? Or your uh, no, no, like member, abducted. whatever. He actually like managed to abduct Count Dooku. He actually managed to like basically beat and abduct Count Dooku. Here, here's you know what, Christopher Lee. I mean, come on, it's Christopher Lee. Obviously, he's better than fucking Darth Maul. Here's the thing. Cool. Uh, I do remember something about basically they said Sidious fought him and Mother Talzin and won because it's fucking Sidious. I mean, come on, of course no, he's gonna of win. Of course, I mean. You can't. I mean, Disney is not stupid enough to break that much can where Sidious somehow dies before the movies are even over. I mean, come on. I mean, well, I mean, I don't right? know. Maybe, or are maybe, they? Maybe, or are they? they? And is, and is the Empire actually stupid. under? Hang on. Or is Sidious dead? And is it actually Darth Vader's Empire? No, maybe it's Darth Revan's Empire at this point. Oh, shut uh -huh. up! I'm not going there. Oh. <laughs> you missed it, visitor. We're not, no. you're not going there while you're here. And his army of no. hipsters, or, I mean, Revanites, have risen up. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Jesus Christ. Dude, I, I worshipped say... Revan before it was cool, dude. You don't even know. <laughs> I, will, I will say that if I had to choose between which is worse, Rebels and the total fucking diarrhea shit fest Revan has undergone lately... I'm hard pressed to pick either one because they're both equally awful. Um, I'm more inclined to believe only, that. Okay, here's what I'm reason, going to prophesize. I'm going to put some prophecy the, uh, on you, motherfuckers. 
Revan is not Revan in this show tour. It, it's, yeah, I yes. quit the game, but it's it's probably going to be... Here's what it's going to be. He's going to rip off his mask, and it's Darth Malak underneath. Big fucking shocker. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> No, I, if I had to pick which one was personally worse for me, I would have to say that personally, Revan is worse because I still consider Legends my canon, and I don't have to give a yep. shit about Rebels. But if I had to say which one was overall worse for Star Wars, it'd have to be Rebels, because Rebels is the dumbing down of Star Wars even more than the prequels dumbed it down, even more than the Clone Wars dumbed it down. It's getting dumber and dumber and dumber, and getting closer to just accommodating the lowest common denominator, and dividing that by two. So yes, Rebels as a whole, worse. Personally, Revan's worse. Well, Revan hits more home, because you actually created the character, you got to live the journey. And it just reminds this you is that why Bio, they never... It reminds you that Here's Bioware actually gave a shit a couple years ago, now they fucking don't. So... This is the main reason why people have never came out with a Mass Effect uh, Shepard main character uh, movie is because they know it will fuck so much shit up. Because it's character-based choices. You can't fucking make anything off of character people. If you make a character that is solely designed around your specific choices you cannot canonly fucking do anything with it after the story ends in the game of said choice driven character rpg blah 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 you cannot do anything with it otherwise it doesn't make any fucking sense of existing as a character choice based game just Sorry. like rebels motherfucker Oh, just you wait. Uh, Bioware confirmed next year. Uh, Star Wars Rebels, the RPG MMO. You play as the kid with the slingshot. <laughs> yeah, okay, guys, let's, let's all be no, honest. I'm just kidding, it's not confirmed. Guys, it's not confirmed. Guys, let's just all be so, honest. Every single Rebels character is actually a character from League of Legends. Oh, God. <laughs> No, that's actively true. Like, the blue hair kid, he is Ezreal, who has the same exact, like, slingshot, too. I can't even make that shit up. <laughs> Star Wars Rebels Day Day the Oh, God. Only 1999. Light slingshot kid, take top. I don't know, something. Uh, oh, my God. All the minions are idiotic stormtroopers or droids. <laughs> I yeah. believe it. <laughs> is there the, and then your ultimate, the, the imperial, ult the imperial ultimate is a four storm. We yeah. need to make a game. Fuck you, Disney. This is our game. Fucking, I copyrighted it right fucking now. No, you can't take it. Shut up. They're gonna take it. But Why can't they Disney make it? They've already Star released. Wars. They've already released several like uh, Android and iOS type games. That are just basically like clones of other more popular games. I mean, come on. Yeah, like a uh, Star Pretty Wars much. Force Commander on the iPhone. That's basically yeah, a yeah, War. Okay. Just Star Wars Commander. Force Commander is something entirely different. Mm. Yeah. There was. Have you guys ever on your phones? They they came out with this wonderful, massively multiplayer uh, shooter, uh, Star Wars shooter, where you play as a stormtrooper, right? Just go around fucking shooting other stormtroopers. It was a hell of a blast. Um, I don't know if it's still out there, but it was amazing. Like, it, honestly, it wasn't good on graphics, but it was Battlefront style fun. I mean, honestly, like, fuck. At least when LucasArts was in charge, they, they came out with fun games. You know what? Not, I got better than Money, 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 money. I've right? been thinking about it. Fucking money. We need money. I've been thinking about it. Games. That's all right. We just we're just gonna close LucasArts down and give all of the Star Wars game rights to fucking EA. I, I, oh yeah, because EA hasn't fucked royally any franchises. I, <laughs> oh, I, I, uh, 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 oh god, I'm sorry. Um, what was I saying? But I just now thought instead of Star Wars Rebels, like instead of Star Wars Rebels, what about, Star Wars, oh, oh, what about guys, Star Wars Empire? Here. Guys, 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 guys. Didn't you hear? We get GTA 5 style battle f battlefield combined with payday style fucking heists. Because that's what Battlefield is known for. Oh, 
floor. <laughs> Fucking please, GTA please, five please stop. Style You're bullshit. hurting me. You're hurting my soul. Please stop, Bane. <laughs> I know! <laughs> but anyway, why not have a fucking storm- like, have a thing around a stormtrooper and see him defect? Like, that would be more interesting. Uh, they're too brainwashed and dumb. The Empire... hey, you know what? Mister, if a stormtrooper defected, he'd probably think- he'd probably be so stupid, he's like, I'm a rebel now, therefore I must shoot myself because I'm a stormtrooper. <laughs> oh! He died a rebel. <laughs> To his own blaster. Like, how many moths or wait, like, defect? In true Stormtrooper fashion, he actually misses. He's like, dang it! How could I miss a target like and that? And he keeps missing. <laughs> and, and film that as a gift. <laughs> yeah, it only, took him, it only took him about a year to realize it's because he's pointing the blaster the wrong fucking way. <laughs> Pretty much. Fucking retard stormtroopers. Useless. Utterly fucking contemptuously useless. General Grievous is rolling in his grave right now, like, I told you motherfuckers, don't have useless troops. This is what fucked me over. No. Just saying, you don't know, have I in the think, future. I think Grievous would probably uh, prefer droids over stormtroopers, because at least you know what, droids are incompetent. But if you say, hey, shoot that way, they at least shoot in that general direction. Yeah. Stormtroopers are just waving their yeah. glasses and just shooting at the wall. Hey, at least, <laughs> at least sometimes the droids general kill the Jedi. General actually talk to the droids in, like, their f droid wireless fucking language or whatever. He actually had antennas in his cybernetic uh, face mask or whatever that essentially connected to any droid within, like, somewhere around 100 kilometers and would basically, he could transmit orders and talk to them directly, like, without even moving his, what's left of his or, boards. Or, he could assume direct control. <laughs> Isn't that what IG-88 tried doing? Fucking yeah, but he died. No one cares. He died. Yeah, he did it. Assuming direct control? You okay, man? Yeah, yeah, I gotta call. Um, I don't know. I gotta get off in a few minutes, but uh, I don't know. I I I feel less rage right now for Rebels, but that's probably because just I spent so much yesterday on Smotor. But honestly, what the fuck is wrong with you? How are you? I thought you hated Smotor. Why are you even playing it anymore? Even I'm not I quit dick fucking one. playing it. I'm not! Oh. I just recognize what the fuck's going on with the piece of shit. Oh. I just have to keep up with oh, it. Wait, wait, it's just, in my, it's in my canon. That wasn't just any temple he was blowing up. That was the Star Forge he was blowing up. The Star Forge. The Star Forge twice now. Look, There's no way that's I've, I've, already, I've already gone into detail on why he shouldn't be blowing up that temple because it breaks so much of legend, Legends canon. It's also but, the Star Forge. It, it just it doesn't fucking matter because he's acting like Malik, like uh, Nick brought up. He's acting like Malik, where it doesn't matter if I have soldiers on the fucking ground. I'm going to orderly bombard this whole fucking region and say fuck you. If I lose, you all lose, including these piece of shit troopers. Like I said, all you Revan fanboys, all these Revanites who are joining Revan, they didn't bother to join the Republic. They didn't bother to join the Sith Empire because they're a bunch of hipster faggot fuckwads who like Revan so much that they want to jerk him off and die for. Him, despite the fact he doesn't give a shit yeah. about them, their problems, who they are, what they're doing, as long as they murder and commit genocide in his name, he's a okay with it, boys. If, you if know, you, I'm pretty if sure you, there was a thing taught in history class about this. I think it was called the Crusades. Perhaps anyone's heard about it. Uh, I believe it's called the Inquisition, but I could be wrong. But anyway, yeah. if Inquisitor has better reasons for being in, like committing genocide than you, you have problems. Oh. Yeah, the Inquisitor actually has more of a basis to commit genocide than Revan does. Gee, fucking G Revan. Good job, old buddy, old pal, you moron. Malak had a better basis for committing genocide than you do, and fucking nobody likes Malak. No one puts Malak in their top ten favorite Sith Lords. They probably do, but Jesus, it's Malak. I mean, come on. Same thing with, uh, fucking Vishia. Like, uh, you know, at, at least Malik, no, at least the worst Malik. Part is, the worst part, hang on, hang on a second. The worst part is, 
they're you reusing the template so many goddamn times. This is the fourth time there's an infinite army being involved. This is the second time we have to go against Revan, and not for my liking, because honestly, the Foundry mission was so overused for farming. Thirdly, <laughs> the, the the it's always this. Oh, it's a third faction that we have to join forces with the rebels. I mean, the Republic scum again, fucking corporate-induced Republic scum again. You know, because that can't fucking backfire. It's not like we're sworn enemies. Um, you know, not even just that. It was like the same thing with the Dreadmasters, the fucking Ricotta threat. The huts, it's literally the same thing no, the huts. over and over. The huts were the and only they one. don't even allow hang on. They don't even allow us to join the factions. That's the worst part. I wanted more than anything to join the Dread Guard or the Dread Masters or whatever with my tunes. I wanted that so fucking badly. That or the the huts or you know, like maybe in the fucking Revenites. Even the Revenites, why not? Why go go crazy with it? Add a third faction bioware, cause there's eight characters, uh, maybe fucking, I, I can't remember, 16 subclasses at most, and you guys haven't added anything that's actually worthwhile in since the Ricotta Ten. armor. The Ricotta armor was the last known good that I can name up on the top of my head. I'm sorry for ranting. Technically, the huts were, basically, they were both competing for the same thing, so they didn't exactly join forces for that one. Look, yeah, all I know. know. All I know oh, is oh, that. Oh, 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 I almost Bioware... forgot. I almost forgot the last thing. Hang on. I'm sorry to interrupt, Carl. The last thing they overused as well. Fucking. Fucking. Kefis. Kefis. Overused so goddamn much. He. Oh, we're... We, we've killed him in fucking explosive conflict, but no, no, no. No. Let's bring him back in a cybernetically enhanced cloned suit. By the way, he's a clone. He's cloned thousands of times. Suit uh, in, in fucking Terror from Beyond Hell, where you also fight a giant space tentacle monster from Hell. Uh, and there's also what I like to call space vagina portals, which pretty much look like that. Um, and you have to debug a machine. Wonderful, because that's so Star Wars-y. Oh, and you basically... Uh, Carl, correct me if I'm wrong, but is is Gree technology supposed to look like it's made from Tron? Gree technology is oh well, the Gree technology that we that we're supposed to get used to is so it, advanced that's more advanced than Imperial but technology. But does it look like this stuff? Is what I'm asking. We don't know what it looks it's like, so they can play around with it. Oh, oh fuck. Okay, so apparently, according to Bioware, Gree technology looks like it's made from Tron. Well, Fuck. I mean, they can play around with what it looks like. It doesn't mean you have to like what they think it looks like, so... Yeah, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> but not the, only the, that, the cool but thing, we have Kefis the cool thing, a third time. The cool yeah. thing about the Gree is that thousands of years, I'm talking like, actually more like hundreds of thousands of years before the Empire, they have tech that's even more advanced than the Empire. But, besides that point, I have to go, like, right now, but I will say that... Revan is basically Malik, and we are revisiting Kotor, and uh, Bioware is bankrupt of ideas, bankrupt of any form of giving two shits about your opinion about what they do with their characters, because obviously no one else cares, uh, especially EA, since EA is probably the one who's like, sell Revan, sell Revan, sell Revan, because they want Revan, sell Revan, and Bioware might actually might might actually not want to, but fuck it, let's sell Revan. And Rebels is the biggest sellout of Star Wars since Clone Wars, and Clone Wars is already pretty fucking petty and cheap, so I don't know how much lower... Things can get. I'll have to wait to read the synopsis and hear your guys' opinion on the seventh movie because I'm sure it's all not going to go see it. I'm probably like not going to go see it. In, I feel I'll like my friend up in Canada who has literally given up Star Wars because anime makes more sense to him than Star Wars does, which I almost have to agree. So G fucking G. And that's that's I'm bad. I'm Carl. I'm done. I'll rant at you guys some other time. <laughs>